there are significant expectations from budget 2016 as we move towards the next financial year significant growth uplift is what the country really expects business inc particularly what we have here is a government that is extremely keen to bring about simplicity in the tax law to bring about much friendlier a tax regime than has been the case so far and to improve the ease of doing business in india in this backdrop one is the various recommendations of the justice ishwar committee some of them really relate to simplifying the law and reducing significant amount of litigation as for instance in connection the amendments proposed in connection with allowance of expenditures which are in relation to certain exempt incomes like dividend income which is not really economically exempt as we all know because the company pays corporate dividend tax dividend distribution tax so one hopes that many of the recommendations of the ishwar committee including relating to the refunds uh, simplification including relation to withholding tax rationalization classification of income between capital gains and business income and most of these hopefully should find place in this year's budget also what is anticipated is the much talked about discussion around phasing out of the exemptions and deductions on the one hand and reducing the corporate tax rate from 30% to 25% or from 30% plus surcharge and cess hopefully to an all inclusive 25% if some clarity on that sunset as to various exemptions and deductions is brought about and the corporate tax rates are indeed rationalized to an all inclusive 25% over a period that would be really a very big step in the history of the indian tax regime from the corporate tax side of course it remains to be seen how this is balanced with the need for the make in india startups india and so on and various incentives that are proposed to be granted in connection with those schemes to give a fillip to manufacturing and startups and so on and one would also feel that some amount of rationalization around sezs is likely even if there is a sunset for the sezs the fact that the minimum alternate tax on developers and the dividend distribution tax on developers as well as the minimum alternate tax on sez units the exemptions were removed and these taxes were imposed a few years ago whether the exemption can be brought back even so long as the sez sunset kicks in that would be a great signal as regards the commitment of this government to live up to the promises that have been made in the past so all in all huge expectations there are large expectations from the side of beps as well particularly con uh, country by country reporting is something that is very much likely and therefore one waits to see whether that comes in also whether poem is deferred by one year is something that one waits with anticipation to see since the draft guidelines are not yet uh, finalized so all in all one really hopes that this is a budget which brings about a fulfillment of a large part of the expectations of the business community and citizens in general thank you